Hello and welcome back to Splatoon 3. I'm Mighty Z and today we're going to take the Splatlings out to play. Uh, which one to start off with? Um, let's see. Let's use one of the mini Splatlings. Haven't seen those yet. Alright, mini Splatlings have less range than the Heavy and Hydra. But they also have less charge up time. So you can keep it going and keep some sustained fire. Really good support. It also has Toxic Mist on one of the variants and the Bubbler Shield. So, could work well for some tower controlled defense. Speaking of which... Alright, there's going to be lots of online multiplayer action in this episode, so buckle up and let's hopefully have some good action. And not embarrass ourselves. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, some people like to give a hearty booyah at the start of the match, even though we don't know each other. That's just good positivity and teamwork. So I like to give a booyah back whenever possible. Alright, let's get warmed up. Get going. Okay, with our toxic mist, we wanna... Excuse me. Good trade. Anyway, with our toxic mist, we wanna keep good sniper spots down and make our enemies forget what sweet oxygen even tastes like. <laughs> Choke them down. <laughs> Splatling, um... Mini Splatling, anyway, don't really like to run in on the front lines too much because you need to charge up time, but right behind the front line, oh, it is great. Uh oh, uh oh, I think I can get in there. Too close, too close. That's on me, that's on me. All right, he's gonna do some damage there with that roller. We have paint control, so we need to maintain that. Yep, he's already coming over onto our side. That is a problem. Okay, let me heal some of this damage real quick. Tima has the tower handled pretty well, so let me take advantage of this. I see you. Uh, he ran. It's okay. You need to hold it down here for a minute. Because they like to run into your base and just kind of chill there and hide and spawn camp. Really annoying. Alright. Oh, no you don't. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah, there's way too much blue on the field. Bubbler is up. Push him off. Push him off. <laughs> All right, now let's run. Yeah, um, the Kraken has a lot of knockback, so if the whole team works together, you can push them off towers and off cliffs. It has happened to me numerous times. <laughs> and now we know. <laughs> All right, let's get some mist in some good spots. And keep paint control here so they don't swim up and sneak up on us with Ninja Squid. Alright, that roller up there, the guy seems like he's gonna be a problem. So let's keep him choking on some of our smog. Alright. Shield for you. Let me support. And let's move in. This is a good push. Good push right there. Uh oh. Back up. Back it up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we can still save this. Um, that's a lot of heat. That's a lot of heat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, suction bombs are great for keeping people at bay because the blast radius is quite large. All right. Let's get over here. Back it up. Oh, okay. And there's the roller dude. He got two of us. All right. He needs to be addressed now. Let's jump back in there. I have stealth jump on, so if the enemy's far away from my landing spot, they can't see it. Really good for getting back into the fray. Especially if you actually have a frontline weapon. But for even for me with the mini splatling, it's good to jump and bring the sport right back in there. Alright, they took that roller guy out. Let's oh, there's another one. Let's gas him up. Okay. Coming in here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. That's too much heat. That's too much heat. Alright, blaster in front of me, roller behind me. Alright. Get that roller, guys. It's gonna be an issue. Alright, white. Okay. It's fine, though. That's a solid push. We still got this quite the advantage right now. 
still a lot of lot, lot of time on the clock though, so I'm not gonna call this win. Okay, <laughs> just yet. Let's go, let's go. Gas these guys up. Wait for it. I'm not getting hit by that that this time. Get the Kraken again. Stay away from the blaster fire. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can also hide in the gas sometimes. Just in case. Yes. Are you there? Okay, I'm not there. Nope! Yeah, he's trying to take out our sniper spot. I'm back here now. No, you don't. <laughs> Alright. Okay, too much blue on the ground. Don't like that. Gas that spot up there. That's the problem zone of this map. Alright, let's move in. If I get another bubbler up here, we should be solid. Bubbler's up! Okay, I think we got this. Oh, okay. He got in there. Someone use it. Stop him. Take him down. Get him. Get him now. <laughs> yeah, it's a really hard overtime push, but not impossible for them to put, take this back. He's gonna try and sit a Kraken on top of it at the last second. This roll is gonna try and sneak in our base. So no to you, and no to you. Good team, good team. Let's gas him up to screw up his ink recovery, and we're good! Oh wait, no we're not! The roller's there, someone take care of that! Take care of that! Please take care of that! Okay, good, 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 good. Teamwork! <laughs> Let's try and get, like, maybe five rounds in before we get back to the story stuff. And let's take the mini splatling out to play in a different level. Okay. I like the marketplace level. Lots of places to hide and run around, though they have made it substantially smaller. So people can sneak up on you really good now. Okay. Oh, camo umbrella. We will cover umbrellas later, probably last. <laughs> not popular. And not popular with me. Okay, you see that special a lot? Dropping missiles from above. It's like the Splatoon 1 special that was one giant missile. We've got a hammer on our side, that's good. Once again, with the mini splatling, I like to be right behind the front lines. Just keep the enemy gassed and use support fire to take advantage of mistakes. If you see me playing cautiously, I'm also running Respawn Punisher this time. With Respawn Punisher, when you put someone down, they take extra long to respawn. However, if anyone takes me down, I take extra long to respawn. So it forces you to play kind of cautiously, and if you t take a lot of lives, you do really well for your team. But when you go down, you stay down for a minute. So try not to die, even more than normal. <laughs> Alright, see that was worth it. Took a couple of people down, and the team made a nice push. <laughs> All right, we got wiped. Never mind. Still made a push though. We have enough time to get back there before they move into our territory. And there's a lot of cyan on the ground, which is good. I want to keep our color dominant. Make it hard for them to push. Never forget to paint. All right, keep you gassed. Nope, nope. We should have waited. Should have waited. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're at checkpoint one and they're blowing through that. There's no one over there. Okay, let's keep some gas up. So you have to pass through it. Do some more get Oh! Hammer dude, good work. Good work. Okay. Throw that hammer, that's a good combo finisher right there. Okay. Stay on the tower up here. And I will defend this tower with my life. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and not a long defense it was. Okay. 
still good. We have advantage still, but it's not a heavy advantage, so we can easily lose it. Get back in there. Get the gas up. Oh, this is a good team. Booyah Bomb and Hammer. Not bad composition. You gotta go. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more blue on the ground. This is way too much pink over here. Come on. Shields up. You can also use the shield as a pivot. You don't have to put it on the tower. Right here, we can stand our ground. But that rain is a good way to handle us being there. Okay, I'm very dirty. Let me hide over here for a minute. Yeah, yep, yeah, there you go. Oh, no, this guy's here. Up, oh, run, uh, uh. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, good boy. All right, let's go. Feeling good today. All right, went to the gym. Got my lats back. Feeling good. Using my weekend right. All right. Way too much pink on the ground. Repeated rain has caused problems. That is going to... Ooh, good bomb. A little too far away, but good enough to get him off. Okay. Once again, not a frontline weapon the way I use it anyway. <laughs> Need a minute to get the charge in. Okay, let's move. Let's move. They're, they're making way too much progress here. Come on. Come on. Get the vacuum up. Can't shoot us all. You can't shoot us all. All right, let's go. This is a good team. All right, way too much pink on the ground. Got to do a little painting. Can we get a minute? And it would be nice to throw a bubble up on the tower, too. So it's kill two birds and one stone. Okay, one of our guys went down. Can get the shot. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> there we go. All right. Also, painting the sides of the tower makes it less likely that somebody will swim up on you while you're up there. So, always nice to do. Okay, another good round. Okay, this round is not going well. They have a pretty good sniper on their team. I have trouble against particularly good snipers. This one's decent, but problematic. <laughs> okay, it's enough pressure to shake me a little bit. Let me shake it off, shake it off. All right, let's go, let's get back in there. Yeah, a good sniper on the tower can be a huge pain, especially if their team's covering their bases. Ooh, good shot. And here's where the Respawn's Punisher is actually punishing me back. You can mitigate it in a couple of ways. Um, you can try and use quick respawn perks on your clothes. Or you can try and use the uh, Tentacooler's Drinks, which cause you to respawn super quickly to kind of negate the effects. Both ways work. Okay, that sniper is looking at me personally. Not good, I need some gas. Ow! Oh. Okay. Nice grenade. <laughs> and nice snipe also. Yeah. Doubled up. That was good. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Just not a dead enemy team. All right. Please this off. Okay. Got it. They have advantage. Let's keep them back. Well, there's way too much blue on the ground. That's really bad. Okay. Oh, that's not good to see. <laughs> okay. Well, if you ever want to see Mighty Z lose, <laughs> it's coming up. Probably. Not looking great. Okay, get some green. Yeah, he knows what I want to do. He knows what I want to do. Okay, other plan. I'm going to try and scrape him off when he comes through the gap here. Okay, scrape. Okay, can we do something about this? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we got barrier up. This is bad. This is bad. That's what it looks like from the other end. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Come on. Ah, dang it. 
Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Well, that was sufficient mini Splatling action. Uh, Splatlings give you some different things you can do, and they have a wide variety of pretty useful specials. Um, that one can shoot short range and long range, well, medium and long range. But let's use the Nautilus. The Nautilus lets you hold the charge and partition the charge, which is great for frontline, mid range, and some long distance. You can store a charge, go under the ink, pop up and take out a sniper or someone close. Great for surprise attacks, and we have Ink Storm. You have seen how effective Ink Storm can be at pressuring us when the enemy was using it, so now let's turn the tables on them and keep the rain coming down on their heads. Yay. So, we have slightly longer range than the mini Splatling had, so we can play this a little bit differently. Still rocking the respawn punisher, so I don't want to die, if at all possible, and I want to take them down as much as possible. Not that I mean splat, <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright, let me get some rain going. Once again, if possible, you want to paint the sides of the tower so enemies can't just roll up on it and get it whenever they want or sneak up on you and your allies when they have it okay gonna hold the line here slow and steady we don't have to advance up oh, they're using the barrier the barrier is bubbler is very popular because it's just dang effective on the tower want rain to go over there so reinforcements get screwed up a bit and if they come in, they have to jump to the tower. Oh, okay. That's a good defense. Let's get high. Okay, I see you up there. You only got three shots. Okay, keep our color on the ground and get rid of this orange. Pressure them so my teammates can move in closer. All right, good, 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 good. Oh, stay away. Keep the orange back. No, my team will get that guy. Let's hold the rest of you guys back. Keep the rain going. Slide over here. Oop, oop, yep. Ah, yeah. Almost. Nah, boy, our boy has got it. Good, 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 good. Good brush, good brush. All right. Let's jump back in there. Once again, stealth jump lets you jump in. Without being detected, unless the enemy is close, they will still see it if they're close. You are not entirely safe. Okay, you've been punished. Let's move forward. Okay. Oh yeah, the sub is point sensor, and it marks the enemy temporarily, and your whole team can see where they are, even through walls. A lot of pressure. So with rain and point sensors, we are making them feel very uncomfortable right now. Especially snipers hate being marked and freak the hell out. When you have somebody that has um, like a killer well, that laser looking special that shoots through walls. Hold on one second. Need to secure this. Okay, anyway. So when you have a teammate with the killer whale, the laser thing that can shoot through walls, marking the enemy is great because you can help them aim better and decide where they're going to use their specials. So just in general, marking's good to stop the enemy from hiding, make them feel uncomfortable, and help your, and help your teammates be more accurate. Okay, another round of market with the Nautilus. That felt good last time. Let's see if it was a fluke. Maybe we'll be a little bit more aggressive this time. Last time was passive, but it was effective. Now we have a sniper on our team, so might support that person. I love supporting snipers. It's really effective and leads to a lot of victories. So I'm gonna wanna keep people marked 
so that they can snipe them whenever they feel like it. And do their job better. Okay, that was unfortunate. Also, another thing about being medium range and staying behind the front line is you constantly give your teammates a place to jump to. You can jump to any team member when you come when you respawn. So because you're always close to the action but not right up in it, your team can quickly reinforce. Like, see the sniper dude right there? He's already back and doing his thing again. That's all you want. So we're just gonna keep the rain up and keep people off this person's back, and we should be solid. Push into the enemy's group. They have their own sniper, so we're gonna mark you. And look how they move. Look how they move when they mark. They're like, nope, nope, getting the hell out of here. And they're down. Okay. Oh, you almost got me there. Okay, let's move in now. Keep marking. Not trying to push too aggressively, just keep him back and put the pressure on him. Trying to make diamonds here. Time and pressure. Here we go. Keep it pink on that side, make it hard for him to swim around. The paint makes it hard for him to swim around and the marker make it, makes it impossible for them to hide. So let's keep it up. Pay attention to the sniper over here. We see you. We want you to go away. Don't necessarily want to kill you because that keeps you just kind of out of our hair, knowing where you are, as opposed to not knowing. Okay, thank you for adding that little bit of uh, defensive wall, Nintendo. <laughs> in the update. Yeah, they update stages more aggressively in this game than in all the other games, actually. And they've added these little uh, defensive walls, I think, to mitigate snipers and long-range weapons. Which is interesting. They're trying really hard to balance this one out. Alright. Wave breakers there. I've been marked. Which is fine. I'm too far away from them to do anything about it. Never mind. <laughs> but, yeah, the wave breaker is great for another way to find hiding people. You have to force them to jump or be marked. They also take damage from those waves. So it's probably one of the best specials in the game, honestly. It, it does so many things, but we'll cover that later. Okay, there's snipers down there. I want you marked and out of our hair. You got your green all up in our side, and that is unacceptable. I love point sensors, because they help you know someone's hiding nearby, so you can move around more calm and, uh, more confidently. Sniper, sniper, move back up, move back up. You're being attacked. Good, sniper. We're gonna keep you safe and comfy. All right, let's move in. Some rain would be nice. Let me charge up my special. I don't know if we've discussed this yet, but to charge your special, you need to shoot, uh, you need to ink the ground, not walls. All horizontal surfaces will charge up your special meter. So, the more enemy ink you cover, the more empty space you cover, the quicker that will go up. Get some rain going. Okay, let's take advantage of this rain. Let's move forward. Advance, men! Advance! <laughs> Alright, sniper's doing his job. If I can take out this enemy sniper, it would be much easier for them to do their job. Wow, okay. Uh, back it up. Back it up. Hold. Hold. Remember, we got Respawn Punisher on. I see you. You've been punished. All right, excellent. Love Respawn Punishing a Sniper. That is great. That's more time that they are not in the field. And we got a couple of them. Just holding it down. We have the lead, so all we got to do is just hold it down, and we will win. Yep. Yep. You got wiped? All right, this is pretty much done. If I can get one more last rain. Yep, you've been marked. Not happening. Not happening. Okay, solid. Yep, that's how splatlings work. I like them. They're great for support, great to be aggressive with. Got a lot of options, a lot of really good specials, and a lot of ways to help the team. All right.
But now it's time to get back to Alterna. Gail had some fun up on the surface world in her ranked battles, and now it's time for Zephyr to continue her story with Baxter. Let's go, Baxter. What are you looking at? Looking at yourself in the mirror? Alright, let's get going. And let's move forward. Oh, real quick. You can go to the menu and left and right on the D-pad lets you look at the different islands. And if you have a kettle there, you can fast jump there. I did not know that <laughs> the first time I played the game. So I went through the long oil pipe every single time. Waste a lot of time. Don't do that. Be better. Be better. Okay. All right. Let's go. Secrets. Right now, Mighty Z cannot feel his abs or his arms because he just came from the gym trying to be healthy. Punch until your arms feel numb. It's good training. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a lot of ooze to clear here on site two. So we're gonna knock pretty much all of that out, do these levels, and move forward. Okay, so ink rails to the left, box to the right, and ooze all over the middle. Yeah, um, Mighty Z just came from the gym, but when I say gym, Mighty Z means, uh, <laughs> the dojo. We were fighting, and it was glorious. Do any of you guys fight? Boxing? Uh, Taekwondo? Anything? I prefer karate. It is wonderful. It's great for exercise, great for the lifestyle, strengthens the body. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may notice that literally every time we go online, all of our teammates and opponents are either Japanese or Korean. There's a reason for that. Uh, we're not using a VPN, we actually live in Japan, so we're getting the good stuff in terms of martial arts, and I love it. Okay, let us up some things here. So there's a weird thing, you can actually get uh, different kinds of bombs and stuff to use here in the overworld story mode. But when you go into all the levels, as you've seen, it gives you a set weapon and bomb combo. So I'm not entirely sure why they do that, but maybe we'll figure out a reason later. All right, we got a level here. We have no choice, no sub weapon, and we have a range blaster. All right, I think I showed a range blaster in Salmon Run. It was a different kind though. But this is a classic range blaster. It looks pretty cool. Check out the fire design. Pretty nice. All right. Baxter, you get to come with us. Good. Or you're going to wait right here. We'll be right back in a minute. Oh, one of these. Okay. We have limited ink. Let's be careful. These are fun. Uh, okay. There we go. We're gonna only take the shots we have to take. These are fun challenges. Sometimes you waste a lot of ink, and this can help you practice conserving your ink and being stealthy. Uh-oh. Okay, so... On this one, you have to think about how to do this with the least possible amount of these. And just gotta hit one. So do you see the answer, everyone? Because I do. Alright, let's go. To use the least amount of ink, we're gonna hit you. Was that correct? There we go! Fun. <laughs> Alright, we're really low on ink and I do not know how long this level actually is. Ooh, if we could hit that balloon, that would take them all out. Let's do it. 
Do I have to kill you guys? No? Cool. Be a little pacifistic today. Okay. Let's be careful what we got here next. Oh, Lord. Okay. We're gonna have one shot at this. Oh, you can totally see me. Okay. Time it right. There we go. Let's go. There it is! If we're fast enough, we can make it! It does reset after a little while, though. Crap! It's fine. We have to spare it. But yeah, you can totally lose her right there. Those things do reset if you do not collect them in time. But Zephyr is fast. And we're back. Okay. Baxter, what are you doing? Baxter... You want to go up there, don't you? Let's help you out. Um, let's clear this here. Let's talk to Callie. Solo albums are okay, but don't you think collabs are more fun? I do love all the little Callie small talk. Sardinium. Yeah, she really got done dirty in Splatoon 2. Thank you for finding the secret, Baxter. So, ah, more soundtrack. So, they're really letting Cavi ha Callie have the spotlight more. It was a little small talk for all the Callie fans, and I think that's great. Okay, with that, the way to the next site is clear. So, at any time, we go through that pipe and move forward. Baxter, what do you see? What do you see? Good, Baxter. And I'll see this one. Good. Oh, more decorations have not shown the lockers yet. You know what? Remind myself to show lockers at that part. <laughs> okay. I remember past me. All right, so here, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can get stuff from online, change your online name, uh, check out replays, which is super useful and uh, some other stuff we'll talk about later. For now, let's talk about lockers. In lockers, you can hold decorations, event items, all your clothes and weapons. You see, here's my locker. It has a whole bunch of stuff I collected. You get stickers when you get sufficient um, stars and rank in a particular weapon, and you get clothes whenever you buy them in the store or acquire them in story mode. You have these little racks and hooks so you can hang various weapons. You have different types of lockers that it's not just a color change, it's a material change. When you open and close it'll actually make different sounds if it's wood, plastic, or metal. Or cheap metal. Isn't that cool? A little extra detail they didn't really have to do. Whenever we get all those decorations, they're to use for this. You don't get your own apartment, but it's a little bit of customization. And when you're done changing it, you can actually go look at other people's lockers and see what they have. I even found a locker where it looked like someone stuffed a body in there by using some dolls. Very clever. Some people are coordinated, some people are not coordinated. Another thing you'll notice, some people have these big, huge lockers. Some are smaller and some are really small. That's based on your level. This is a zero level locker. When you're at level 15, it gets this big. And when you get to level 30, you get the adult size locker. See? And I think these lockers are all the people you fought online recently. Don't quote me on that. Okay, hopefully I remember to do a some sort of locker explanation at that part. Otherwise, this is going to sound really random. So, I'm going to assume you know how lockers work now. <laughs> and everything's fine. Okay, and then we're required us to speak about it no further. Okay. Okay, let's find some more secrets. Get some of this ooze. We need something to ink to climb up there. Plastic is the bane of our existence. See? Thinking man. Uh, locker decoration. There you go. Maybe you even 
We'll see a thinking man, but I don't know if I'll be able to find one randomly. Hopefully you saw one though, so you know what it looks like in a locker. It's pretty popular with people who go through story mode, so you'll probably see one. Okay, this pipe lets us get back there really easily, and we can climb this metal here. So now we have our run of the place. Let's clear some more of this out. We're making good progress here. Want all the upgrades we can get? Grab all the power eggs and secrets? Trust me, this will matter later. Instead of me having to come back and doing all this crap to uh, advance forward. Now we have so many eggs, whenever we come into a barrier, ideally, we'll never have to stop. Okay, need some more though, so I gotta go to a level. Okay, now let's talk about something, uh, something else. Oh yeah, so, I said I believe all humans should have two skills. And if somebody has OCD, probably drove them crazy by now. Skill number one, everyone needs to know how to swim. Even if you think you'll never encounter water, you really might. Plus, it's a fun and healthy activity. Two, everyone should know how to fight. Not to be violent, but quite the opposite, so you could not be violent. Knowing how to fight, you can defend yourself, you can fight properly, and at the very minimum, you can take a punch or escape one. Also, people who know how to fight know how much damage and pain they can cause others, so it makes you more empathetic to others' pain. This will be the last level we do for the day. Okay. Hmm, 96 scale, not bad. I wish they gave us more choices, though. Alright, 96 scale the shooter. You have some pretty good range. Firing rate ain't super fast but does quite a bit of damage. So aim well, and you should be fine. Curling bomb you have seen before. Bounces around, does its job. Back so you wait here, we'll be right back. All right. Got plenty of ink this time. Oh, we have a little maze. I'll take your maze and check. Oh, okay. So no cheating, I see. <laughs> I use my rare superior range and intellect. Boom. All right, now your maze means nothing to me, but I want to collect everything, so we gotta be thorough. So, yeah, we can think with the Z in the z-axis. Let's go. Let's clear this place out. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. How's it going? What's up? Okay, is that a glass? Oh no, it's just. Okay, that looks like a trap to make me kill myself because of greed, and Z will not fall for that. <laughs> but I will be getting that later. Let's move on, curling bomb, go! That was a distraction. Ooh, great to have a multiplayer map that was like a maze like this. That'd be really cool. I'd like that. <laughs> there we go. I always prefer the higher ground if it is an option. In the Splatoon, they let you make an option so much. You have a shield. I don't care. I have patience. It's Friday and I got nowhere else to be. <laughs> Alright. It's over here. <gasps> I've defeated your mace. What now? What is this? All right, way to be clever. That's fine. That's fine. You can never say they didn't get the full use out of this level. That is good level design right there. I'll tell you what, let's go. Do, 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 do. See, we can get this the smart way. All right. I guess we're going back from whence we came. I was wondering what this really slow revolving door was for. It wasn't really an obstacle like at all. <laughs> okay. We will go over and around. 
There we go. Good shot to get us up there. <laughs> yeah, a combination of quick squid charge and mashing the jump button can get you through a lot of wall challenges. It's good to use both. Right here, just out of laziness. That's a good way to get up there. Now that was a clean level. Oh boy, all right, we covered a lot of stuff today. Cleared out a lot of ooze, uh, showed a new weapon, I'm going to assume it was the mini splatling, and we're ready to clear this island and move on to the next one next time. So we're gonna stop right here. I'm Mighty Z, this is Splatoon 3. Please tune in next time for some more Splatoon action. As always, be safe, be well, and goodbye.